Guys, now back to the part 2 of the science. Producers are green plants that produce their own food through photosynthesis. This is the info. Separatism is a relationship whereby an organism gets food from that organism. Examples of saprophytes are mosses and mushrooms. Food web. A food web is a combination of a few food chains. Energy is also transferred from one organism to another organism just as in a food chain. Half of the energy is lost because organisms use it to carry out life process such as respiration. I repeat this. Half of the energy is lost because organisms use it to carry out life processes such as respiration and also to move. Other than that, energy is also lost from uh, other than that energy is also lost in the form of heat and chemical energy. Sorry about my wrong saying words a bit and continue. This is producer, primary consumer, secondary consumer and territory consumer. The forward practice is this one the info here, let me continue this. Nutrient cycle in an ecosystem. In an ecosystem, energy is transferred from one organism to another. This transfer happens in a network of food which eventually leads to nutrients being returned to the environment by the decomposer to be reused. This cycle is called the nutrient cycle which is the cycle of non organic chemical elements including mineral sources in the soil, water, oxygen, nitrogen, hydrogen, and carbon dioxide. This one is the water cycle. The role of living things in the water cycle. Plants need water for photosynthesis. Roots of plants absorb water from the soil. Plants will release the water back to the atmosphere through transpiration. Transpiration increases the content of water vapor in the Air. Roots of plants grip the soil and make it compact. This causes the water flow in the soil to be slow. So the number 3 and number 4 question answer will be in the part 3. And this as well. And this part 3. I think this one part 3, part 4. And then part 3, part 4. Uh, part 4, part, four, part 5. And that's it. See you in the next week.